body on four maps. Today I'm gonna talk about Mazen Namdekano, Lego State, and Deborah Samos. First, Mazen Namdekano, the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and the true prophet of our time, Mazen Namdekano, must be released. Uh, he has been in the DSS dungeon for over two years now. Mazen Namdekano must be released. Uh, the election in Imo State has finished, so there is no reason of keeping Mazen Namdekano in the Department of State's uh, dungeon, known as DSS. Time to release Mazen Namdekano. I urge our Biafrans and friends of Biafrans to be praying for Mazen Namdekano and his immediate family. We thank God for giving us Mazen Namdekano to be brave with Biafrans. I also send my my um, my wish to the Directorate of the State of the Indigenous People of Biafra and indigenous people of Biafran's members worldwide. May Almighty God be with you all. Second, it has been confirmed that Lagos State had been destroying the properties of Igbo Biafrans in Lagos. Uh, our Supreme Leader Mazin Namdekano, our late eternal leader, General Dim Chukwe Mekal Dimegu Ojuku have urged Igbo Biafrans to re relocate their businesses uh, back home in Biafra land. You see all that invested investment you made in, in Lagos State, the Lagos State govern government have been destroying your properties. So I read something today online. It's good you go bank, borrow money, and use that your property in Lagos State as collateral something, collateral for the money you borrowed, and use that money and invest in Biafra land. That's a very good option. Finally, uh, there's a woman in northern Nigeria, a Christian that wrote something about Deborah Samos, who was murdered by the Islamic fundamentalist and he, she's being jailed. I don't know her name, but Deborah Samos must get justice. Okay, that's for it. This is 44 Maps Owaihe. Until next time, happy holidays to you all if you're celebrating. Happy Hanukkah. Happy all the religious rites. Thank you very much. 44 Maps Owaihe. Thank you. Bye.